Hello and welcome back to the HTML and CSS for Beginners tutorial and today I will be telling you how you can basically link style sheets or CSS files to your web page and also the three ways that you can uh, use CSS in your files or your HTML documents and also give you a little bit of the intro to the uh, syntax of CSS and just a couple things you can do with it but I'll mostly focus on that in the next episode and probably the episodes that follow that as well so uh, first I'm gonna start off with the inline style now uh, don't worry about anything I'm putting in the inline style until you focus more on uh, the syntax of CSS then I can go ahead and give you um, you can mostly do this but it's not really used the most mostly external style sheets are used but I'll go into that a little bit later down the video so I just have my template up here within my body tags I have a p tag that says this text is red now obviously it's not because you'll see if I open this and refresh it it's actually not red it's black but we are going to make it red with the power of CSS so CSS is mostly just used for styling things inside of an HTML document so um, anyway stop the rambling here and I'm just going to add an attribute to the p tag and you can do this with any tag actually so uh, like any tag inside of your body element so for example if I have an h1 you could also add this style attribute now in here I'm just going to put color red now what color does is it just sets the color of the text to uh, whatever color you put after the colon. Now I'll go into more detail about this when we do the internal style sheets but as you can see you can add anything here and uh, you can have more than one thing so for example if I just add something else this is background color um, don't worry about this either I'll just make this black you have to separate the end of the lines with a semicolon because if you don't then it's not gonna know where you want to stop the um, styling at so uh, you just have to separate it so that it knows like when the end of the command is or when to stop styling something and style it with another uh, attribute or property I guess you could say so uh, that was inline styling and sorry that was a really bad explanation but it would really make more sense when I go into internal style sheets so now we're gonna head up to the head tags and in between those under the title or wherever it doesn't really matter we're going to add a tag called a style and not in capitals I must have hit my caps lock style so now you definitely want to space this out because this is going to look really messy if you don't have some way of organizing it now uh, really quickly I got a comment on my last video when I talked about tables somebody asked if you could link uh, two documents together, but I said that I don't really know if there is uh, two HTML documents. Sorry, and I said I don't really know if there is because she said that it took up too much space. Well, uh, in Notepad++ on the left hand side here, you see these minimize buttons. Let's say I want to minimize everything in my head. Well, I can actually press that minimize button and it cleans it up a lot. So I really hope this helped you out just in case you didn't really like looking at something that you weren't using. So uh, you, the same thing applies for table. You could just use the table tags and minimize that and that will clean up a lot of that space. Uh, but if there is a way and I find out how to link stuff together, I will definitely let you guys know. I just don't know everything about HTML. But anyway, um, we're gonna go in between these style tags right here and we are going to actually this anything in between here is now uh, use the syntax for CSS now syntax is really easy and it goes the same for just about everything in CSS so basically right here we want to have a selector now a selector can be for any tag in your body so for example I have an h1 in here I can put instead of p h1 and it will look through my body tags and go for every single h1 and style it the way I tell it to now you want to do two curly braces and space this out for organizational purposes you don't really have to but I prefer to and then anything under here is the way that you want it to be styled so I told you about the color right here and this is kind of the property that we want it to uh, you know style it with 
Now after this, this is called the value, so I want it to change the color. Color just change the uh, color of the text, and I want to change it to red. Now, since this is P, it's going to look through every single um, P tag inside of our body and change it. So I'm not going to do this, but for example, if I have, actually I'll just duplicate this a couple times, and all of this, every single one of these will be red. So. If I just refresh this, all of them are red because it's looking for every single P tag. So I hope that helps a little bit. But now, anyway, uh, CSS has some built in colors to it. So it has like red, green, yellow, orange, blue, black, white, you know, for example, uh, stuff like that. But I'm only using red because obviously I can't use white or black because our text is already black. But the background of our body is white, so it's not really going to show up. So there's no real point in doing that. But anyway, um, so after the property, you want to put a colon. And anything after the colon is what the value is. And the value is just like uh, what you're doing. So, for example, I could like change the um, margin of something. And then after the colon, I can change it to like the amount of pixels that I want it to but I'll get into that more in the future later in the future and then you want to put a semicolon there and uh, for example remember how I put background color well uh, you can put that on a new line and I'm just gonna put this as black uh, whoops I spelled that right okay so this is background color and that just changes the background color of this whole element right here all the way to the end of the page so refresh this and uh, just like it did before. Now the semicolon, like I said, just lets it know that you are ending this style and then you're styling it with something else down here. So uh, you should you put semicolons after it so that it doesn't get confused is basically what I'm trying to say. So that is internal style sheets. Now the last way and definitely the most organized way of doing things is with an external style sheet and this is the way I prefer to do it because it doesn't make a uh, mess inside of my HTML document and doesn't make it look all ugly just in case I have a big website to make it doesn't take up half of the page with just the CSS for that one page so you want to go into the head tags and create a tag called a link tag and this is a self closing tag and this is how you link um, CSS files so for example, uh, not for example, sorry, this is just, um, say I'm going to have a CSS file, I will make that in just a second, but first I'm going to show you the attributes that you need in the link tag. So I'm going to put an attribute called rel, and the rel is style sheet, and this is for if you are adding a CSS file to the document. And then the other thing is the type. The type is what type of document or thing you're linking is and we are linking a text slash CSS and you need that as well and then the other thing you need is href and this is uh, like in the image video that I made the images we put a path into a um, you know where our image was inside of our folder well we can actually do that with CSS as well so uh, I'm just gonna put mine in the main uh, folder and I'm gonna call it style.css now, uh, so I don't have a CSS file just yet, but I will make one right now. So in Notepad++, up here where it says index.html, I can actually double click it and do file, save as, and then change this normal text file to cascade style sheets. And that's what um, CSS stands for. The extension is .css, by the way, if you didn't know that already. And I'm going to call this style make sure I save it in this main folder over here save that and then I will just do a basic thing right here I'll just change the color to uh, red to make sure that it's all working and refresh that and there you go it is working so this is how you do external uh, style sheets really quickly but I can also add other stuff for example an h1 and I'll just do like background dash color uh, black but obviously I don't have an H1 but as you can see um, it's still you know you can add more than one and I guess I could put an H1 in here really quickly to show you that and close that off really quickly 
and then refresh the page and you'll see that obviously if I highlight it you can read it but since the text is black there's not really any point in making the background color black unless your plan was to just not be able to read the text at all but anyway that is how you link or use CSS uh, files inside of your HTML document and uh, also the basic syntax of it but I hope you all enjoyed this video if you did leave a like if you have any questions comment them down below and I will answer them for you and I will see you guys in the next one